not have to that, but you know, our, our heads and our tests, you know, focus on what can we do for uh, this game Saturday when we play in Brooklyn. What has Ray Spalding showed you the last couple games? That he has emotion. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, in the beginning of the year, you know, it's it's been shown, it's been like, where's his emotion? You know, we've you know, been talking to him as the older guys and even during practice, you know, getting him to play with, play with more emotion. And I think that when he goes out and plays with emotion and passion, I think he's, he's a hell of a player. I mean, of course, he's still young. He's going to have his ups and downs. This, this is his fourth college game. But, um, I mean, definitely, you know, can be an asset to, to, to this team. What do you How think of an Asa's done? <laughs> Actually, didn't I didn't recognize that it happened until after it happened. So I saw him go up, and as soon as he dunked it, I feel like the whole crowd just stopped. Everyone was like, and then everyone just the whole thing just erupted, you know, knowing that he dunked it. And <laughs> he actually dunked it on the way down. I feel like one of his feet were on the ground when he dunked it. <laughs> how how often in your college career have you been as tall as the other team's tallest player out there? Uh, actually, when I was at Drexel um, last year, I played a little bit of like four. Mm -hmm. We played like like four out, mm -hmm. one in offense. And um, I mean, I was probably like the third, fourth tallest player on our team last mm -hmm. year. Uh, and I mean, I was I was you know essentially playing four. You know, this you know and we would do similar to how we did here, just switch you know one through four. And uh, <laughs> it was. I mean, it was, it was cool, I guess. In the scouting process, so you see, you know the size that you have, and you see a team like this. What is the mentality there? Uh, you know, we get to our strengths. Uh, you know, drive while 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 we can. Of course, you know, feed the post. Uh, there was you no know, time during this, during this game where uh, you know we you know, sort of made an emphasis more more towards the end. You know, it was zone, and they had their guards on our bigs. So we were like, all right, attack them in the paint, attack. Okay. Okay. Now, if we would have did that earlier, yeah. I'm pretty yeah. sure we could have gotten the foul yeah. earlier, got to the foul yeah. before. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Turn it down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we could have got them in foul trouble <laughs> early in the game. We attacked them from you know, several ways. You're heading into a stretch now where you're not going to be able to just to use your physical skills to dominate it. What is going to have to take with this team to, to move on against tougher competition? Understand personnel, you know, understand the game strategy, uh, go in every game, you know, but attack it one game at a time. We can't, we can't look forward, we can't look past this game Saturday. Our biggest game on our schedule this far is Saturday coming up. No, I mean, talk about how big the impact Ray's game has been the past couple games for you guys. Uh, definitely, you know, another another asset, you know, someone that we can bring up and uh, bring up off the bench. And he's not, you know, your typical four man. I mean, his hands, he's, he's like seven, three weeks, man, very, very active. Uh, you know, we praise him about that all the time. But you know, that, that stuff doesn't get to his hand. You know, he's great on defense, great with deflections. And his offensive game is uh, steadily improving as well. Last one for Damon. Thank you. Thank you, Damon. Thank you all.